Hey, hello there. This is going to be an extensive tutorial on how to use the updated version of the Stitch tool. First of all, when you open the file, make sure you do it in the latest version of Blender. At this point, for this version, uh, my latest version is 4.1.0. If you open uh, this one in an earlier version, some nodes might not be there and then you get an error. And if you save the file in a lower version, you will bring that error to the newest version. So make sure that if you download this tool, you directly open it in the newest version of Blender. So you don't get any problems. As we can see here, we have a new base mesh, some new colors, some new stitches. The previous versions, we had less stitches and now we have a lot more variations that you can use straight out of the box. And we have uh, three different methods. The first method is using a stitch curve that you can draw onto your mesh. The second one is using vertex group. So you select the edge loop on your mesh and that is being converted into a uh, stitch line as you can see here and here. This is the vertex group. If I create another one, group one, and I select another edge like this one i assign it and then here i can say group one uh it's called different Z point well let's call this one group one and then you can see that it appears so you have group it's this one and you have group one which is this one so in this way you can easily just add more edge loops to your uh, design but it's, you cannot combine easily uh, different stitches and you can do that here. So if I want different stitches here, I can select another stitch and that is going to, to how it works on the uh, vertex group stitches. So the last one is just using a ribbon. So it's also being drawn with the draw tool uh, of a curve and then use the surface uh, projection. So you can draw on your mesh but this is just as you can see a ribbon it's not real geometry it's just a uh, a material on a ribbon and this is real geometry so here you can see the holes and the stitches are real geometry so you get correct uh, shadowing and the depth if you look from the side but if you need just uh, like a simple stitch you can uh, use this one or project your own stitch or uh, whatever you want onto this ribbon so these are the three method methods that you can use um, and there are several ways on how you can import them so as you can see here i have a new file uh, this is uh, the same cushion if i put it to the side and i go into this file on windows you can just select a stitch then ctrl c copy it go to your file Control V and then you will have the cushion and the stitch uh, in this file. What you can do on a Mac, if I go back and it's deleted, I can go to File, uh, Append. And if you look on this one, here you see it's RD Stitch Curve. This one is an asset, RD Stitch, stitch Curve 1 or 0, 01. You have to find that one. So if we go to the RD stitches, this is the file. We have to go to objects and then find RD stitch curve. Here we have it, RD stitch curve one. Import it. And then here we have more meshes. Ah, we have imported the simple one. So if we go back again, uh, append then go into this is rd simple stitch we need rd stitch curve that's the regular one then it will import here the stitch curve and the object if i now delete this one uh, and here it will look for this model if i delete it it all goes into one point because it has nothing to proje project on uh, i have to select my own mesh so now from this position uh, if you see my mouse from this position, this is the curve. It will project to this model. 
and so it sticks it all to the side. What we have to do is with X, so uh, double A, I deselect it, with A, I select it, and with X, I delete the curves. Now I can go into draw tool again and then surface and then I can draw on my mesh and there the stitches will appear as you can see and then you can change all the parameters here. So that is how it's going to work uh, on this stitch curves. Uh, what we can also do for example is if we have this, this curve here we can also select an edge loop shift D to copy it. So I have this loop over here. With P, I can uh, isolate the selection. So it becomes a new group here. As you can see, if I turn this off, this is a mesh. What I then usually do is go to object, convert to curve. Now it's a curve. And if I select this one first, and then with shift, I select the uh, one that I already have. Or have to do it the other way around like this one has to be selected has to be orange this one is red and then with ctrl j i combine them and now you see that like the curve that i selected and the curve that i've drawn i can still draw uh, is one thing and now it has all the same parameters as the one that i import so this way I can easily just take a uh, edge loop and then change it and uh, uh, give it a different stitch like this uh, and apply it to your model. So if we delete this one and we go into the other file. Now for this method, uh, it's the vertex group. So I have to look for RD cushion vertex group. So let's go into our file. We go to file, append, and then RD. I call them all RD that you want to import. Uh, let's see where it is. RD cushion vertex group. Append, and then it will appear. There it is. So now um, what you can do is just, as I did with the curve, I select my mesh. Then I select the mesh that's already there. And then with command J, I combine them. Now it takes some time. And now all the, uh, there's already a group on here. So it combines the groups uh, and it puts all these stitches on the group as, uh, that was already there. So we can just go into the group, vertex group. Uh, now I'm edit mode, go into object mode again, because I don't have to be in edit mode little bit slow because projecting all these stitches because I'm going back and forth into object and edit mode let's get out of it then delete this group uh, we can also with L select my uh, cushion delete it and now here I have my object I make another vertex group and there I can select the vertices and assign them and there you see that the stitches appear so in this way the name is still group of the vertex group i can change the size dimensions I can change the stitch and this way uh, by combining them uh, what you could also do is just go into geometry nodes and then select the rd vertex node group but then you have uh, you have to change uh, toggle these like the standard. Uh, I have to also uh, take this one like the 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 standard uh, uh, values are uh, not correct. So if you just combine them as I did before then it's a little bit easier because it takes all these standard values and then also it's the same for the if I delete this again uh, here the other cushion delete it here we have our own mesh uh, append and then we take the simple stitch curve it's the same thing so here we have also the ball we have the cushion mesh 
then we take the stitch curve and we apply it to this mesh then here are the curves with x or with double a deselect with a we select them all with x we uh, delete them and then with the draw tool and put surface not cursor but surface we can draw on our mesh and then if we choose the uh, object then it will project correctly so you can draw on it and here we have stitch selection we have a few standard materials that come with the tool uh, you can change the stretch you can change the width to number eight for example the scale UV scale the stretch of it uh, we have an offset so you can create an offset so it's not intersecting with the mesh uh, we have the resolution as you can see if we go into mesh mode the resolution this is the subdivisions here you can see the resolution subdivision it becomes even more smooth we have the y resolution so how many lines it will have next to each other um, and we also have if we go to custom material we can create our own material so if we go to shading we go to uh, stitch 11 for example i duplicate it make stitch uh, 12 and then here i can uh, import my own png of a stitch and will it will take the alpha uh, of the image and make it see through and then use your stitch and this way it becomes really easy to make your own stitches from an image so that's how uh, easily you can import it into your own file um, now if we go into our stitch file here you can see all the different stitches that you can use uh, we click it here we have all the parameters you can use also uh, very hard edges for baking because when you bake something sometimes the alphas doesn't come uh, through nicely um, also if we zoom in onto one of the stitches this is like a closed shape we can open the shape now you can slightly see it over here uh, if you want to take all the stitches and unwrap them yourself um, you can also do that you can reverse uh, the curve you also can trim it which means you can animate it that it appears out of nowhere um, we also have now a separate uh, uh, the seam by distance so we can create a double seam if for example you have this double stitch you can also give it a double seam so that's also nice at this moment and then if you want to create an animated stitch as you can see here i have this animation it's an animation plane and that works a little bit different so if we go into this we can duplicate this panel I animated this panel with a geometry nodes group I turned that one off and also the solidify solidify for a moment then what I can do is I can grab this stitch and then move it over here you see it by the origin I put it into the simulation folder and then use the object over here so now you see that it's projected uh, I delete it I just draw some new lines as you can see here then what I need to do to animate it because if I animate it again it kind of works but it also doesn't because you see here that it intersects and it stretches and that's not what we want what you have to do is on this flat surface or on a cushion or this something that you are going to simulate you have to apply by converting them to a mesh now you see that all my parameters uh, disappear and if i go into the mesh you see that the stitches are now real geometry and what we have to do now is we go to deform 
and then surface deform we select our uh, plane and then we bind so now the shape of these stitches are bound to the mesh and if we go into our uh, plane shape we solidify it again so it looks a bit like textile and we apply the animation and if we play it now we see that it warps correct and there's no intersections anymore and no stretching of the stitches so this way you can now start uh, a real simulation or just a geometry nodes animation which by the surface deforms so this way you can use it uh, or maybe on an armature or a character or whatever you want so if i delete these the uh, example here you can see uh, the stitches with the surface deform on them in here the geometry node wave animation are over here so you can have a look and these are the three methods that you can use another thing you can do is also change the materials so if you click one of the st stitches you go in here you see the um, creases we also have um, or it's actually the seam and we also have some creases that are projected so it looks like uh, it, the fabric is pulled a little bit together and if we go into cycles you can see clearly that these uh, lines are creases and what it actually is is a material laid on a surface and if we go into the shading let's go into cycles and look at it from above here you can see what happens so here we have uh, the crease and we can also change by the mix uh, the alpha we can change how harsh it looks so we can make it darker and, uh, more bumpy and also less bumpy and if we go into because we have crease we have crease darker which is uh, fully black for the um, baking if you want to bake it it's supposed to be fully black and we also have seam if we go to seam here also we have two options like this seam has uh, a midline and also two side lines we can also change it to become just one line uh, i usually prefer this one and also here you can like take away a little bit the harshness of the colors by changing the factor also change the color if you want and the bumpiness because it has a little bit of a bump also to uh, simulate that it's going in as a seam but that it doesn't really change the topology of your mesh because uh, that requires more uh, programming it's a more difficult process than doing it this way this is the easier way to do it so in this way <coughs> you can change the seam you can also change uh, things about the stitch the stitch color is already here so if you look at the stitch let's go to Eevee uh, we can change the stitch color here so that's already programmed in here we have the stitch color which is mixed with the uh, threads which are procedural and created here with some uh, blender procedural textures but there you can also change a little bit how it looks so um, that's how you can change uh, all these settings of the stitches uh, and I hope this is sufficient to make this tool work really quickly for you